So that we can be better at communion, like we seen in the last lesson. And what we eating on this day is hyperplane emanations. Alright? So let's get straight in it. Let's go into the keys. Into the keys and get the definition of hyperdimensional space. The use of space by higher intelligence for an operation or sequence of operations occurring on a specific input corridor between sets of three-dimensional space. Multi-dimensional space created by envelope packets of higher light so again, multi-dimensional space created by envelope packets of higher light so that constant metamorphic transformations and integrations can take place through time and programs of super time. Through time and programs of super time as in Alpha Omega programs. All right, remember that lesson from a couple weeks ago? Now let's go to page 26. Page 26, verse 18. Can the perceptual form of this planetary mind be so vain as to suppose the universe does not exist beyond the scope of his own three-dimensional matter-energy body. Has no one spoken concerning the end of this age, the end of this age, in which the illusions of corrupted mind energies will cease to function? The end of this age, in which the illusions of corrupted mind energies will cease to function in thoughts and forms. All right? Let's go back to the ninth superscript, key 409. Ninth superscript. Thou shall be the community. Communion takes us beyond the end of the illusion. Verse 57. Hence, behind the observed universe exists a greater realm of super energy regions controlled and managed by the thought forms of the Benai Elohim and associated hierarchies of intelligence who are behind the beginnings of the physical universe. Pause. Let's go back to the keys. Page 53. Verse 3. Both our local 
physical universe, which is one spectrum of our local universe, both our local physical universe and the surrounding biochemical testing zone are superseded by an invisible world of negative mass, which shapes the atomic nucleus and is used in the building of the physical energy systems of our visible galaxy. Again, both our local physical universe and the surrounding biochemical testing zone are superseded by an invisible world of negative mass, which shapes the atomic nucleus and is used in the building of the physical energy system of our visible galaxy. Thus, the physical universe proceeds out of the world of negative mass, which is used for the purification of trapped light. Because that's what we are, gravitationally trapped light. All right. The blueprint for this physical universe and the world of negative mass pre-exists in the higher heavens and the star codes of the Pleiades. From these codes, the Elohim Lords of Light and Orion create the formation of the negative mass, which is modulated by the thought forms of the Lords of Light into the creation of the physical universe of mass evolution. All right, so negative mass, the unseen mass. Let's go back to the superscript, verse 73. Although the overwhelming number of astronomers and astrophysicists Consider the origin of the universe to be the Big Bang. This is a flawed cosmology. We need a new reevaluation of cosmogenesis, according to what I saw and wrote in the Keys of Enoch, Key 109. That is, behind our cosmic beginning is a greater divine design that came before our 24 dimensional universe with all its local 3D stellar substance connected with our physical universe generated by the spiraling of higher life forces which can be seen as the supporting force the spiraling of higher life forces which can be seen as the supporting force the Samak. Let's go back to verse 31. Built into the overall field of existence is also a hierarchical gradient that establishes for each sun system a Deca Delta system, which begins to act as the life giving transmitter for the ordering of life in various realities and acts in our reality as a manifold function generating the fundamental constants. In the keys of Enoch, key 312, verse 8, it tells us that through this divine word, this logos, the Elohim creators connect the perceptual apparatus of the brain, the Deca Delta system, and give it a memory, the recorder cell, which contains the directions for the universal language process. All right, so like we see, through that Deca Delta system, we was already pre-encoded for communion, but we got disconnected. The recorder cell links us back to all which we once knew, it just has to be reawakened. All right, remember the reawakening to the kingdom? You see how all of the lessons tie together to give us back instructions and coding? Again, 
through this divine word, this logos, this divine field of thought, the Elohim creators connect the perceptual apparatus of the brain, the Deca Delta system, and give it a memory, the recorder cell, which contains the directions for the universal language process. The language process controls pattern formation, namely where we are within the greater memory. The brain that is being spoken of here is within our sun universe and it's not the source of all, but it's the source behind the patterning, behind the patterning directives for our creation. Pause. Let's go back to the keys. Page 454. Page 454, verse 1. Understand, O man of the earth. Understand, O spiritual man of the earth, that you are extended to the worlds of higher light through a divine network of language. Now, you must decode this language operating within you. You must decode this language operating within you and understand how you sprang from primal codes emanating from the templates of the heavens. The brain of man is part of the divine mind. And by decoding the human brain's mechanisms of memory storage and relationship to the universal language process, a, hierarchical, a higher hierarchical memory is revealed. And spiritual man discovers that he is a pulsating geometry Spiritual man discovers that he is a pulsating geometry of a divine language system. All right, let's go back to the super scroll. Verse 34. In fact, in our third dimensional reality, the Deca Delta Manifold system generates local fields that also work multi-directionally in establishing past, present, and future fields in a system of choice or duality within and without various dimensional realities. The purpose is to grow into harmony with the original organizational administrative field that is of the Father Universe. All right, so again, the purpose of this Dr. Delta Manifold, the purpose is to grow into harmony with the original organizational slash administrative fields that is of the Father Universe blended with the creative field associated with the Shekinah Universe. All right, so basically to grow back into harmony with the father and the mothering aspects of your nature. All right, the administrative field of the father and the creative field of the mother. All right, back to verse 74. Most importantly, the alpha and omega cycle within our local system did not begin, nor will it end by an explosion, but by hyper emanations. All right? So the alpha and omega cycle within our local system did not begin, nor will it end by an explosion, but by hyper emanations projecting ongoing fields of energies 
as our universe is open-ended. All right, hyper emanations. Let's go back to the keys. Back to the keys. Verse one, page 114, verse 18. Until that time, in the eyes of the world, one level of redemption is just as relativistic as any other level of redemption. All right? So up into the end of the cycle. Until that time, in the eyes of the world, one level of redemption is just as relativistic as any other level of redemption. This greater light threshold remakes all of negative mass into a collective relativity. And this precision of light particle in gathering takes spiritual man, you see man with the capital M, takes higher man away from the physical DNA, RNA, molecular codes and makes them into the image and similitude of a whole light being. Right? Makes them into the image and similitude of a whole light being. Alright? Go to page 357, verse 48. Prepare your consciousness to recognize the appearance of whole light beings through the gifts of the Holy Spirit. But they represent your counterparts in the greater creation. All right. Let's go back to the superscript. All right, back to the superscript, verse 75. This brings forth the understanding of the ongoing state of everything that has no beginning and no end. Yet, there are repeatable and ongoing cycles. Again, let's catch this. This brings forth the understanding of the ongoing state of everything that has no beginning and no end. Yet, there are repeatable and ongoing cycles. Repeatable, just like when you in school and have to repeat repeatable and ongoing cycles which are controlled by the mathematics of consciousness throughout our fundamental multi-dimensional reality. Oh, let's go back to the keys and read about this. Page 117, verse 48. In other words, you are all sons of that light focus, of that light projection, which must be resurrected as a divine thought form, lest it remain within the graviton structure of the solar paradigm. This explains why the majority of mankind reincarnates back into this biochemical plasma again and again only to sit and look at their navel to wonder why violence must overtake the peaceful and righteous. This planetary bondage has to go beyond its light field. All right, speaking on man, speaking on your flesh, your identity, your knowledge yourself. All right, your knowledge, your consciousness has to grow beyond things of the world. You have to grow into the spirit and start to process the sciences. You have to come this route. You cannot just stay at being a good person and, and, and just being loving everybody. You have to grow into a spiritual being and start to understand the science and your true nature and increase your consciousness and understanding. All right? This planetary bondage 
has to go beyond its life field. Otherwise, it simply allows for matter energy to reincarnate back into the same chemical pattern of relativity. All right, let's go to page, let's go to page 503. Page 503, verse 111. Enoch says that the local universe known as our galaxy is one large astrochemical computer of various crystalline phases of energy transfer. And through these processes of tripartite energy transduction, we can understand how man emerges out of a series of higher evolutionary forms. Man emerges out of a series of higher evolutionary forms to inherit, to inherit the worlds of specific membrane relativity. The key is telling us that evolution in reincarnation are part of a repeating cell unit process which is going on through different levels of energy gradients. Some of these worlds require that the Adamic image and cellular form repeat itself over several generations through metastable confirmations. These metastable confirmations are continually relaxing and requiring rebirth so that the membrane of spiritual man is regenerated over many generations. So that the membrane of higher man is regenerated over many generations until it is remade into the image of the higher evolution. At such a time, it is inseparable from the luminaries, but it operates completely within the highly ordered structure of the energy cycle of evolution in the name of righteousness. All right. Back to the superscript. 76. Although the simplest form of organic matter has progressed through myriads of eons, the Adamic species, which we are, mainly was generated from a higher image and similitude. Remember, all Israel is not of Israel. Which we are mainly was generated from a higher image and similitude connection with the divine consciousness field. This is because our image is not just that of Adam, male and female, it is of the Adam Kadmon, the higher humanity of life, or the archetypal primordial image which originates not in our son universe, but in our father universe. This allows us to obtain a direct connection to the Godhead as we were created to be part of the higher consciousness detail workings of the universe. Our similitude, our likeness, is a key part of our divine reconnection and ultimately our divine ascension. It allows for our consciousness connection that is able to move into various hyperplanes of higher life while at the same time existing in experimental realms of matter. All right? So our similitude allows for our consciousness connection, our higher consciousness connection, that is able to move into various hyperplanes of life while at the same time existing in experimental realms of matter. All right? So, 
getting more of the science of creation and formation and how the Elohim thought forms operate, which trickled down into how the Adam Cab mind was generated to operate before we got abducted and stuck in that worldly below consciousness. All right, peace.